Hey guys. Today your girl is on a roll. This is my third video I'm filming today. So if you, like I said before, if you see this outfit, it's because, yes, I just filmed three videos. That's more videos than I didn't film in the last like three months. <laughs> but anyway, today for this video, I am back with the natural hair tag by Kimberly Sherelle here on YouTube. Yes, natural hair tag. I've been wanting to do this since she got came out with it and I'm finally getting a chance. So, hey, here's it going. Here's it going. That don't sound right. But, here it is. Wait, here it is. Okay. So, first off, she said to let them know your hair type. Okay, so, I'm going to be honest. I don't know my hair type at all. I was thinking somewhere in the 4A range, 4B. But... I honestly don't know. And then some of the curls up here are looser. The tightest ones are right here. The middle is like, I kind of want to be 4C, but I'm not really. I'm just giving you a hard time. So, with that being said, I don't know my hair type. And, honestly, I don't care to know it because my hair is flourishing without knowing it. So, we're going to get to the next question. But anyway, start off. The first one is low or high porosity. My hair is definitely low porosity in most of it. But I just noticed this back section right here, the part, let me tell you, this back se section is kind of like high porosity. And I'm not mad at it because this back section, this is the easiest part of my hair. Like I could slap anything on it and it would define my curls like with no issues whatsoever. The rest of this, no, it, the rest of it be like, I want three products at least and a gel to go over it. Mm, the rest of it is a negative. But this little back section, like I, I put the leave-in conditioner, I'll be like, oof, them curls are already here. Then I put that leave, that same leave-in conditioner up here and it'll be like, nah, sis, nah. So, yeah. So, I'm low porosity. That was the first question. Next is deep conditioner. Do you want thick or creamy? And it's definitely a creamy because I detangle with my deep conditioner down. At first I didn't, but to save a step, now I do. So if it's creamy, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times it has slipped. So I'm ready for the slip so I can detangle at the same time I'm putting it in my hair. So yeah. The next is twist out versus braid out. Now see, I haven't quite mastered either of these styles yet. But I like the the elongation of a braid out, but I like the curls of a twist out. So I'm going to go ahead and say twist out. And I've mastered a twist out more than a braid out. So I'm going to go with twist out for now. From a year from now, it might be different. But for now, twist out. And then the next one is wash and go or rod set. Definitely a wash and go. I haven't did a rod set in quite a long time. I tried one time since I've been fully natural and... It was a fail. It was a complete fail. I did them when I was transitioning a lot, but when I since I've been natural, rod sets are a complete fail. Why is the lighting going in and out? Rod sets are a complete fail, and wash and goes is like the only hairstyle I think I consider I mastered. So, okay, y'all. Sorry if this lighting is a little bit off. Like. I'm using natural lighting. I always use that natural lighting, and the sun is kind of like moving right now. So, lighting is a little bit off. Like, it's a little bit dark, but that's all right. But, um, like I was saying, wash and go rod set. Wash and go differently. I haven't did a rod set since I was trying. Well, I had the one since I um went fully natural. It was a fail. I did them while I was transitioning, and they were okay. But as natural, it's a negative. So, wash and goes is definitely, and I've pretty much almost kind of mastered wash and goes so wash and goes wins <laughs> so anyway next question is perm rod set or flexi rod set and i'm gonna have to go with perm rod because even while i was relaxed transitioning flexi rods i couldn't get the hang of it like it just wasn't me so um perm rods all the way and 
I kind of like the look of a perm rod set anyway. So yeah, perm rods all the way. Next is shower or sink. And it is, I like the shower, but I usually do half and half because it's like, I don't want to get back in the shower. Like I get in the shower to wash my hair and put the conditioner in. Then I get out and usually I rinse it out. Rinse the conditioner out um, over the sink or even over the tub or opposite. Like I either do one or the other in the shower, but not both. So if you get what I'm saying. So I will say I like the shower. I just don't like getting in and out of the shower. So I'm going to pick shower anyway. Yeah. So air dry or diffuse. I have never used a diffuser and I've been air drying. It is winter time now, so that's why I've been doing less wash and goes because I don't have a dryer at the time, at the moment anyway, and I've never had a diffuser, so right now I'm not doing many wash and goes, but that's okay. But I still air dry, air dry all the way. I don't know, I just feel like air drying is better because I tried to blow dry it a couple times before, and I don't like the way it came out, so air dry fleeky edges are as they are now I love me a good fleeky edge but at the same time I don't do my edges every time so I'm gonna say fleeky edges but just know like I don't do them all the time like they did today kind of fleeky they're not all the way fleeky but they kind of fleeky but um just know I don't do it every day at all whatsoever and next is deep conditioners are all definitely deep conditioners like I rarely ever use oils on my hair at this point because I don't see a difference or benefit. And actually, when I was using oils before, my hair, I mean, it's growing. It was growing. I'm not going to say it wasn't growing. But right now, that I'm not using it and I'm focusing on conditioning and stuff like that more, my hair is flourishing more than it was before. So, yeah, deep conditioners, high bun or low bun. At this point, I can't do either. Not a bun. I can do a little puff. So I'm going to go off of a puff. And I think high. But only because I feel like with this low one, I have a little bit of makeup on right now. But this low one, if I don't have any makeup on, I look like a dude. Because you can't see my hair. Like, you just, like, see, you're looking forward. You can't see my hair. All you see is, like, it looks like a low haircut. So I feel like I look like a dude if I don't have makeup on. So that's why I'm going to say high. Now, I like the sleekness of it, and, like, it all can be pulled back. Like, I like that of it, but I feel like I like a dude with no makeup on. So, hi. <laughs> um, Bantu knots are finger, co finger, co finger coils. There it is. Now, I haven't did either of these hairstyles. I did. I had a little Bantu knots when I was relaxed. But finger coils, that's negative. I haven't did that. But at the same time, if I had to choose one, it will be finger coils. Because for me, for some reason, bantu knots take forever. They're so hard. I can't get them. They take forever to dry. No. I just do finger coils. And if finger coils kind of mimic my natural hair anyway. Because a lot of times people ask if I twisted it up like that. Or if I'm trying to get dreads. Ooh, I get that question a lot. Like, not y'all. It's just my hair. It's just my hair. But anyway. Okay, protective styles in the summer or winter. And I will say in the winter. Because I like in the summertime that I can let my wash and go just air dry. I can do my hair and walk out the house. And one time it's winter now. This is like, I was fully natural last winter, but my hair was like this long. So I couldn't do nothing with it. So it was really fine. Like it dried like that but this winter like I don't have a dryer and it's holiday season I really don't feel like doing my hair like my hair I haven't been neglecting it because I've still been like taking care of it it's just I haven't been doing much to it like it's in a low ponytail right now because I washed it and I just put it in this low ponytail because I didn't feel like dealing with it so I don't think in the winter time yeah winter time so next is bonnet or scarves now, I use a combination of both. If I had to pick, it would be bonnets. But I use a combination of both because I usually tie up my edges and then put the bonnet over it. But, yeah, if I had to choose, it would be bonnet. And why to comb or detangling brush? I have not found a brush that works for me yet. So, for now, why to comb all the way. 
and it doesn't even have to be the really wide tooth combs like because I feel like the ones with the teeth are too like far apart it don't get the little tangles out so I use the just pretty much a regular comb to detangle my hair I just do it in small sections but yeah I have I haven't found any brush that I feel that works for my hair good Finger detangling or brush. Okay, finger detangling or brush. I'm going to say finger detangle because I do that more often than a brush. Because like I just said, I don't really have any brushes that um that work for me. So, finger detangling all the way. Sorry about my hand, y'all. I'm talking with my hand. But, yeah. And so, t-shirt or microfiber fiber towel. I will say t-shirt because it's easy access. And it's right there. I use t-shirts most of the time when I'm doing my hair because I just take the t-shirt and the whole the whole of the for the head, I put it around here and then I just like tie it around. And so it usually works really good. So yeah, t-shirt. Gel or no gel? Gel. Like I'm not I don't have time for washing my hair every couple days because it's all frizzy and all of that. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I really don't have time for that. Length or health? Of course, health. Like, not many people gonna choose length. I'm not saying nobody's gonna choose it because there's somebody gonna be like, no, I want length. I don't care if it's healthy. Just give me the length. No, I want healthy hair because length will come after that. Side part or middle part? Um, I'm gonna say side part. It's always a side part. I feel like middle part just shows my forehead that much more. I have side right now. Yeah, because I started out with a middle because I was like, oh, I'm gonna try a middle part. And I put it and I was like, no. <laughs> and so I changed the side. And then plastic cap or bag. So I'm going to say plastic cap. All my hair right now fits in the cap. So it's it's just fine. All of it still fits in the cap. But plastic bags, I feel like whenever I use it, like I always have water dripping from somewhere because it's not tight enough. I don't know, I don't like water like on my neck and stuff like that. So I'm going to choose plastic cap and that was the last question so um that's all the questions just a little get to know me and welcome to my channel because I've, I've never done a welcome to my channel so this is a little get to know me like get to know my hair and me a little bit so yeah that's it for this video this glare is annoying see that's why that's that's what's making me all dark this glare right here there you go. There we go. I wish I wish I would have noticed the glare a long time ago, but I didn't. But that's okay. So, but um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know about your natural hair if you're watching this. You natural, you got natural hair. Let me know about your relaxed hair if you have relaxed hair. Just let me know in general. Just talk to me in the comments. I, I will respond. I will respond back to you, girl. You are or do you gotta be girl to watch my channel? But anyway. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.